so uh, our next topic is vapor pressure composition curves for non ideal solution vapor pressure composition curve for the non ideal solution so so uh, let me repeat once again the non ideal solutions are those solutions which don't obey uh, raoult's law so, or they may be called the real solutions like ideal gases and non ideal gases and uh, i non ideal gases are often called as real gases so similarly non ideal solutions are called uh, real solutions so there are three types of curve that type 1 type 2 and type 3 so we will discuss one discuss one by one all the curves first of all that to consider a binary solution containing components a and b there are two components so correspondingly their mole fraction liquid state will be xa xb and in vapor state it will be ya and yb so so consider uh, uh, i was telling that consider a binary solution containing components a and b which are completely miscible with each other miscible means they are they can be mixed with easily with the each other at any temperature the composition of vapor phase is different than that of the liquid phase the composition of vapor phase in equilibrium with the solution is determined by the partial pressure of the components the composition of vapor phase in equilibrium with the solution is determined by the partial pressure of the components if ya and yb are the mole fraction of component a and b this ya and yb is the mole fraction of component a and b in vapor phase and mole fraction of component a in vapor phase is ya so mole fraction of component a in vapor phase uh, in vapor phase ya is equal to by a is equal to p a oblique p so this is the mole fraction the formula for the mole fraction of the component a similarly for the mole fraction of y b in comp uh, vapor phase is the p b oblique p where p is the total pressure and p is the p b is the pressure of partial pressure of component b in mixture whereas p a is the partial pressure of component a in the mixture whereas by a and by b are the mole fractions in the vapor phase of the component a and b so the vapor phase composition graph at a particular temperature are obtained by measuring the vapor pressure and the composition of the vapor phase for a particular composition of the liquid mixture so i so it is uh, it is said that vapor pressure composition curve graphs at a particular temperature are obtained by measuring the vapor pressure this vp vapor pressure and the composition of the vapor phase for a particular composition of the liquid mixture in each diagram there are two curves one for the uh, liquid state and other for the vapor state so in each diagram there are two curves so c first curve is for the liquid state and other uh, i yesterday uh, i the curve i told uh, i explained yesterday was similar there was two curves one for the liquid state and other for the vapor phase so similarly today again in each diagram there are two curves one for the liquid state and other for the vapor phase this is liquid for vapor this is for liquid phase curve this is vapor this, it means that above this curve exclusively liquid phase is present at vapor pressure above then this value above liquid phase is present and similarly here above this curve that liquid phase is present whereas below this curve exclusively vapor phase is present and between these these two curves that is these two uh, so let us say this vapor pressure and this vapor pressure there are only liquid and both liquid and vapor phases are present at this particular composition similarly here if you um, go to this value of vapor pressure this and this value at this temperature at this vapor pressure and this vapor pressure at this particular mole fraction the both liquid and vapor phases will be present whereas below this vapor pressure and this composition only vapor phase will be present in this area similarly above this curve there is a only liquid phase so so the upper dark line this upper dark line shows the Uh, variation of vapor pressure with the composition of the liquid mi mixture whereas the lower line shows the change in the uh, composition of vapor with the composition of liquid mixture so these figure show typical shapes of three types of vapor pressure composition curve for the non ideal solution so 
uh, we will take one by one all the curves so type one this is the first type of curve this is type one in this case uh, there is only small deviation from the ideality L let me explain it in this case the total vapor pressure of liquid mixture lie between those of the pure component a and b so total vapor pressure of liquid mixture lie between the it means that vapor pressure of uh, cell uh, vapor pressure of pure component a is the p not a and vapor pressure of pure component pb so vapor pressure of after mixing mixing these both pure components lies between the these two uh, vapor pressures that is p not a and p not b suppose that p not a is 10 degree and p not b is 20 degree so it simply means when you mix both these the mix vapor pressure of mixture lie between the 10 and 20 units so the total vapor pressure varies continuously with the composition of the mixture the total vapor pressure varies continuously with the composition of mixture vapor pressure that is when we are varying the composition that is here x a is equal to 1 x b is equal to 0 then this is a mole fraction i had told you told you earlier so the vapor pressure is lie between those of the pure components a and b the total vapor pressure varies continuously with the composition of the mixture total vapor pressure varies with the composition suppose here middle in the middle of the line x a is equal to 0 0.5 and x b is equal to also 0 0.5 because sum of the mole fraction is always equal to 1 whether there are 1 component 2 3 4 or 5 so here it will be mole fraction of x a will be 0 0.5 and x mole fraction of b will also be 0 0.5 so here the composition of uh, vapor pressure total vapor pressure varies whereas when this composition goes to this side the vapor pressure again changes so uh, as a result there is no maxima or minima in the curve as component b is more volatile than a then according to uh, mobolov equation it's yb oblique ya that is ratio between the mole fraction in the vapor phase of two components that is b oblique a is equal to x b p naught b x a p naught a that is equal to x b by x a is multiplied by p naught b oblique p naught a if p naught b is larger than p naught a the ratio if if p not b is larger than p not a then this ratio then the ratio is y b oblique y a will be larger than the x b oblique x a so the vapor phase will be richer in the component b than in the liquid from which it vaporizes so it is also clear from the point x and x and x1 in the graph so it was the type first type of uh, vapor pressure composition curve for the non ideal solution similarly for the second type of the vapor pressure composition curve these these show the large deviation from the ideality this is the second type of vapor pressure composition curve it shows the large uh, uh, large uh, positive deviation from the ideality for such solutions the vapor pressure composition curve have a maxima this is the maxima whereas there was no maxima in this type 1 of curve so uh, as shown in our figure further as is seen in the figure the liquid curve and the vapor curve meet each other at maximum point at C this liquid curve and vapor curve from both side meets as the point C this is the highest maxima point and further thus the point C the ratio of mole fraction of A and B in the vapor phase is same as that in the liquid in other words at the maximum point both the phases have same composition mathematically it can be uh, explained according to following equation so again a question y b oblique y a ratio between the uh, mole fraction of in the vapor phase of two components y b oblique y a is equal to x b 
P not B oblique X A P not A which is further equal to X B oblique X A X B oblique X A multiplied by P not B oblique P not A is very simple where y b comma y a comma x b comma x a are the mole fraction of the components in vapor phase and liquid phase respectively so at point c p not a is equal to p not b therefore the equ this equation reduces to when p not b becomes to p not a this equation reduces to y b oblique y a is equal to x b oblique x a very simple we will put the value p not a is equal to p not b here and it will be cancelled out so it becomes the x b oblique x a it's very simple so the first part of the curve up to point c is similar to type 1 of curve that is this curve this curve and these are same uh, showing that vapor phase is richer in the component B than in the liquid phase. However, after point C, it is observed that vapor phase is richer, richer in the component A than the liquid. It is also clear from the points Y1 and Y. So, up to this, the curve is same as type 1 of curve, uh, type 1, ty first type of curve, whereas after the point C, the curve has shows the maxima show was shown at C, point C and after it, uh, the reverse of uh, reverse of earlier position takes place that is vapor phase will become richer in the component a whereas third type of curve it shows the large uh, negative deviation from the ideal t the curve uh, because the first and second type of curve are uh, these curve have this type of uh, upward curve upward these are upward curves so these show the positive deviation whereas it shows the negative deviation so uh, in this curve this uh, solution so minimum in the graph this is the minima like this maxima it, it is the minima and uh, the liquid curve and the vapor curve meet at minima point D thus the ratio of mole fraction of A and B in vapor phase and liquid are same at the minima point in other words both the phases have same composition at this point in the first part of the curve point D the vapor phase is rich in component A than the liquid but after point D, it is observed that vapor phase contain more of component B than the liquid phase. Thus, second part of the curve is similar to type 1 curve. So, this is shown also seen from the point Y, Y1. So, this, these are the three type of curves from the for the uh, non-ideal solution that is vapor pressure composition curve. So, So next are the fractional distillation of binary solution and azeotropes that those topics we will take tomorrow.